Picture this. A 900-year-old Indian text called the Samarangana Sutradhara describes flying machines powered by mercury. Mercury, the same silvery liquid in old thermometers. The text says heating mercury creates a whirlwind force to lift machines into the sky. Now, fast forward to 1964. NASA tests its first ion thruster, using mercury. Coincidence? Or did ancient India stumble onto something big? But here's the problem, mercury is deadly. Even a tiny leak could poison astronauts. So, by the 1970s, NASA switched to safer gases like xenon. But wait, why did ancient texts push mercury as a power source? Was it symbolic, or did they know a secret we've forgotten? Let's get real. No, NASA didn't copy ancient Indian texts. Their mercury tests were just physics experiments. And that story about an Indian inventor flying a mercury-powered craft in 1895? Cool, but there's no proof. Still, the mystery sticks. Why? Because mercury's weird. It's a liquid metal that conducts electricity, perfect for sci-fi tech. Today, researchers in India are studying those old texts asking, could mercury engines work? Maybe not. But the bigger question is, how did ancient thinkers dream up tech that mirrors modern ion thrusters? A lucky guess? Or genius ahead of its time? Oh, and that city wiped out by ancient nuclear weapons? Pure myth. But here's the truth. Mercury's toxicity forced the world to ban it in 2013. Even space tech. Yet those 900-year-old verses keep us wondering, did ancient India see the future? If you love mysteries where history and science collide, hit like and tap subscribe, we're just getting started. What's next? Maybe you'll solve the puzzle.